Welcome back to Iran Daily News Feed. Let's take a look at today's news. An Israeli media has reported an assassination attempt on an Israeli businessman in Cyprus has been foiled. As details are still emerging, it looked like as if Russian mafia was involved. But authorities still appear skeptical of the Islamic Republic's involvement. Senior Middle East analysis Jason Brodsky wrote on his Twitter account that, according to the Times of Israel, a 49-year-old Israeli billionaire, Teddy Sagi, was saved at the last minute from an assassination plot in Cyprus several days ago after being warned about the attempt, Channel 12 News reported on Sunday. The spokesperson of the Israeli Prime Minister also confirmed on Monday that Sunday's terrorist attack on the Israeli Cypriot businessman was directly planned and operated by the Islamic Republic. Meanwhile, news had reported in early October that an unprecedented operation involving 15 international security agencies has exposed an Iranian terror infrastructure that was planning a series of assassinations against Israeli and Western targets. It started in June when the Colombian National Intelligence Directorate issued an imminent security alert after determining two Israeli businessmen were the target of an assassination attempt planned and financed by a high-ranking Iranian Quds force officer. That officer, Rahmad Asadi, is regarded by Western intelligence organization as a dangerous terrorist. In early January, also the UAE intelligence announced its agents arrested several Iranians in Dubai and Abu Dhabi in connection with allegations they were plotting to carry out attacks to avenge the killing of IRGC Quds Force commander Qasem Soleimani. Last year, Saudi Arabia said it had busted the Islamic Republic trained terror cell whose members got military and field training inside IRGC sites. Early 2020, Bahrain's Interior Ministry said it neutralized a terrorist attack early this year that was backed by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Embezzlement in Iran increased by 333% in the first half of the Iranian calendar. The head of Economic Security Police said the number of embezzlement cases increased by 333% compared to the same period last year. The number of embezzlement defendants has also increased by 94%. He added that the rate of bribery in the country also skyrocketed by 357% compared to last year and the number of defendants in such cases has increased by 28%. Accordingly, on September 5th this year, the Islamic Judiciary spokesman in Iran has declared that all accused of Iran's billions petrochemical fraud case were found guilty and the Islamic court sentenced them to 20 years in prison each, 74 lashes, permanent deprivation of any official jobs and fines, the amount of the money they earned through criminal acts. According to the news, the infamous Marjan Sheikh al-Islami al Alaga, who is the chief executive of Denny's and Hetra companies and known as the godmother of exported journalists and agents backed by the regime, is among the defendants. She fled Iran through Canada and lives there at the cost of the Iranian lives. Reports indicate that the Islamic Security Police have arrested at least eight book vendors in the Iranian capital, Tehran, for the alleged distribution of historical books about the Pahlavi dynasty, the restorers of Iran. According to the semi-official Iran Book News Agency, the arrests have occurred around Tehran's truck route, Angalab Street, in the past months. Today in Iran, all books written the truth and amplify the favors of Iranian empires and kings and non-Islamic books are forbidden as well as readers or sellers will be punished. Reza Shah the Great, the founder of Pahlavi dynasty and the last Shah of Iran are known to be those who rose from the ashes of the Persian Empire to establish Iran as a modern nation state, founded Pahlavi dynasty and introduced many social, economic and political reforms. United from all parts of the region of the country, despite dialect differences, the patriotic protest of Iranians in Vienna still continues. The Iranian monarchists have staged a rally in the Austrian capital since September 11, 2021 in support of the countrymen inside Iran who risks their lives and are taking to the streets going on with a regime change in Iran. Their wishes is the return of freedom and democracy to the Iranian nation.
نمایشگاهی از جنایات رژیم اسلامی و همچنین چوبه دار سمبل رژیم اسلامی رو داریم که بهشون بگیم این رژیم چقدر وحشیانه چل و سه سال هموطنهای ما رو قتل آم میکنه و همینطور در قسمت دیگه از برنامه ما خواست مردم ایران به نمایش گذاشته شده یعنی پادشاهان And that was all for now. I'm Kate and thank you for the privilege of your time.